In the fizzy science of champagne, bubbles matter. There are up to 20 million bubbles in a bottle of champagne, and every one affects the taste, scent, and fluid dynamics of sparkling wine in unexpected ways, researchers say. Champagne owes its signature sparkle to pent-up carbon dioxide. For centuries, though, winemakers considered it a hazard that, unvented, could make their bottles explode. No one really knows who developed the first champagne, but a clever 15th century monk named Dom Pierre Perignon did invent, among other things, the wire collar that holds a cork in place. And with that, he turned a gassy nuisance into an industry that last year sold about 322 million bottles of champagne worldwide. After pouring, a glass of highly carbonated champagne effervesces at the rate of about 400 bubbles per second, compared to a rate of about 150 bubbles per second for beer, the scientists say. The shape of a champagne glass can affect champagne's scent and flavor, as it does for many wines. Bubbles appeared to mix champagne more thoroughly in a narrow engraved flute. All in all, any carbonated fizz seems to please the palate. They actually activate our taste buds, scientists discovered. That helps give the bubbly its special savor. For the Wall Street Journal, I'm science columnist Robert Lee Hotz.